What business do we have with the world today? We live in the world, but we're not supposed to be a part of the world. And yet, many, many Christians today are a part of this world and even integrate church and the world in together. And that's not how we're supposed to be as a body of believers. We're supposed to keep our foot out from the world and have both feet firmly planted in God's word. And we're supposed to be the lighthouse guiding these people in the world to the rock of our salvation, who is Jesus Christ. Now, Christ said in his word that they would reject you because of me. Why? Because Jesus taught that we're supposed to come from out of the world and into the things of God. We're supposed to call out sin. Um, the light from the darkness, being the salt and the light of the earth. And we haven't been doing that as we should be. Now, yes, there are many brothers and sisters out there who do do this. And we cannot be thankful enough that we do have fighters out there in the world who are not of the world, but are fighting in the world, entrenched against this satanic, demonic system today. But yet, we're not fighting against the world per se as in flesh and blood. Now, we know better than this. We know that there are demonic forces at work in the world today who control the hearts and minds of what people say. They control the narrative of the world. And the narrative of the world is, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I mean, we're supposed to judge between what is good and what is evil. And I'm sorry to tell you this, but a lot of the things that I see in the world today, and I know that many things that you all see in the world today are evil. Case closed. So, they hate us because that we do call out sin. They hate us because we are the alternative to the world system. Jesus is the alternative. He is the only alternative and the only way. There is no many gods to the Father. There's no many ways to the Father. There is only one way and his name is Jesus. But the satanic system of the world tries to muddle up the waters, tries to make it not so black and white, but very gray. Well, gray is only dark anyway. It's not pure. Jesus is pure. He is the bread of life. His word is in our hearts today. And we need to apply his word today to the world so that the world might be saved. So, in this, I just want to tell y'all and encourage y'all to not be afraid to, to say to the world system, hey, I don't I don't think this way you're you're going about um, preaching your message is all that great. I don't think your your gospel is all that great. I don't think your new age is all that great. Your message of tolerance is very hypocritical. 
being tolerant of your belief system, but yet you are not tolerant of God's system? I mean, you're very hypocritical in your own teachings, world. Come on now. I don't really believe that you have fully grasped your own message. The world system only leads to hell. It's evident when you see it in the people today and how they act. I see it. They act hateful, very hateful to Christians. We have to win them to Christ, yes, through love. The love of our actions, the love of um, how we live our life. It's a testimony on how we should be. And the world has to see our testimony. And if our testimony is not in love, and it's not honest and true and follows the ways of God, then it's a hypocritical testimony. We need to walk in love, yes, but we need to distinct, distinctly define the difference between good and evil. Yes, I love you, person who lives in the world. You are a friend. You can come into the fold and be my brother, not just my friend, but now my brother in Christ. So, many don't want to receive this message, though. They will reject you because of me, Jesus said. The New Age belief system today, it's demonic and satanic. We as believers, or at least most of us as believers, know this, but there's not enough of us preaching this. We need to get it through in love, of course. We need to get through to our friends who live in the world that it's demonic and satanic. And if you really want to be in the presence of Jesus, if you're actually someone in the world actually considering it, Someone in the world actually considering, hey, I might want to be a Christian. I might want to live my life the way Jesus teaches. I might want to apply myself to that belief. And it's not a belief. It's a fact that this will bring you joy. You have a purpose you're living for. You're bringing others into the fold. And the harvest is coming. It's coming. Jesus is coming soon. So, again, don't have your foot in the world and have it in the church, in your walk with God. Have both feet planted firmly on the rock. The rock is Jesus. Let your fruit be good. It says in the word, you will know them by their fruits. Let the world see that your fruit is good. It's honest, it's just, it's true, it's pure. It's right before God. And the world says, hey, wait a minute, I'm missing something here. I'm missing. I'm missing the teachings of Jesus in my life. I'm not applying what I'm called to be. And I'm called for a higher purpose than just following an idol. I'm called for a higher purpose than just following 
the idol of delusion. Celebrities. New Age. I want to follow after God. I want to be a new creation. I want to be a new creation in Christ. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.